Good day. My name is Kristen Francis, and along with John Bonnet Clark, Kayla Blake, and Kendra Edwards, I'll be presenting on First Prep Academy, which is a top of the line pre university academy which prepares students for every aspect of their future. Not only do we focus on educating young adults academically, but we also aim to build a person's character and prepare them for the real and working world. Our aim here is to see people grow into the best version of themselves, building knowledge and confidence. The main reason for establishing this institution is to provide education for students in the field, mathematics and sciences. Our location will be in Portmore St. Catherine and our prices are very affordable, which is only $100,000 for five subjects. Each additional subject will incur a cost of $30,000 each. Some comp competitions recognized are UE's pre-university program, Portmore Community College and Excelsior Community College. One main problem that we recognized with our competition is that those institutions are already familiar and people tend to be more comfortable attending institutions that they already know. So some strengths of our institution is that the institution focuses on subjects in mathematics and sciences, which gives us a stronghold. This means that because our subjects will be specifically in those fields, passing rates will be higher because we can, the teachers at the institution can focus on tutoring those students and not focus on any other subject that we will not be teaching. Furthermore, all investment will be in labs, equipment and anything related to science and math. A weakness is that the target market and potential customers are lower because of the fields this institution will provide education for. Now here, this means that because we will only be teaching science and maths, we miss out on getting students in other fields such as arts and business. An opportunity is the, the use of media platforms to provide and promote information on the institution. So here, um, we realize that the, the competition does not use media as much as we plan to. Thus, we can reach a target audience, which, is, which are people who typically tend to use social media way more, so they can engage with our account and get all the information they need online. At first is that the competition already has students who are willing to attend the institution. Because our school is new, we have no following, we have no background, we have nobody to vouch for us. So we have to step up our game in advertising to allow students to want to come to the school. key advertising problems to be solved. The first thing we need to think about is how to engage our target audience. This means we need to promote our brand in a way that makes people or allows people to ask questions that they have. Um, if we just put an ad out there that people cannot um, engage with, it will just flow right past. So we'll put an ad out and if people can't engage with it, they'll just ignore it or they'll just see it and not care to, to search for more information on their own. Another thing we need to think about is what consumers want to see. By consumers here, we, need, we mean the students who are going to be attending the institution. What do teenagers or people in 18 to 35 want to see? think about um, the colors of the ad, how bright the ad is, 
um, and just anything else they're interested in rather than just what we want to put out there. And the last thing is we must try to avoid ad fatigue. So ad fatigue is when the consumers or the, the audience gets bored with seeing an ad too many times. If the ad is seen way too many times, it would be kind of counterproductive because even if we got the audience to engage with the ad and feel like they are interested in our school, if they start to see the ad too much, they'll get just get tired of it and not want to attend the institution anymore. Key strategic campaign decision. The first objective is during the six month period, 60% of the target audience will interact with the brand. Second, during the six month period, we will reach 80% of the target audience. Third, during the six month period, we will have 10% of the target audience enrolled in the institution. Last, the first prep will be one of the top five well-known pre-universities in Jamaica. First prep target, tar, first, prep, <laughs> first prep target audience are males and females between the ages of 18 to 35, living within the Kingston, St. Andrew and St. Catherine area with science and mathematics CSEC subjects. Our positioning statement is to students who wish to achieve education in the mathematics and sciences at Cape level, First Prep is an affordable pre-university institution that ensures to place students' needs first. Unlike other brands, we care about and are driven by the success of our students. Campaign strategy combination of hard and soft cell techniques will be employed in order to accomplish the objectives of this campaign. Our hard cell techniques will include advertisements that unequivocally invite members of the target audience to access and hopefully register for our service. The soft cell strategies serve to inform our audience while showing them that the representatives are accessible and eager to assist. media strategy. The objectives are reach. The media reach 90% of the target audience. The impact, the, the message should impact 30% of the target audience the way it was intended to. And the frequency, 75% of the target audience should be exposed to the brand three times per week. Media selection and scheduling. So media scheduling basically explains how we plan to space out the dissemination of our campaign message to our target audience. We have selected for traditional media platforms, TVJ, Melo FM, and The Gleaner. And this is simply because all of these media houses have a wide island-wide reach. So on TVJ, we plan to have a 30 second TV advertisement that will be shown once per week daily for a month, for the first three months during prime time hours. For the second half of the campaign, this time we'll switch to early morning TV hours. And this is so that our audience does not get fed up with seeing this ad, um, at the same times, and hopefully by switching the times, we reach different people who tend to tune in at varying times. Melo FM, we plan to do a 30 second radio script that will be aired three times daily for three days out of the week during the six month campaign period. And for our Glena advertisement, we plan to have a full page advertisement that will be broadcast in the Sunday Gleaner. And this is because the Sunday Gleaner tends to be a staple in you know, newspaper reading households. They tend to want to have their Sunday Gleaner to look through it and hopefully we can access some of our target audience members through that 
We have social media platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And this is because, as stated earlier, our competitors tend to neglect these platforms and our target audience tends to be on these platforms. So by having representatives that are posting daily and replying to comments and posting live question and answer sessions once per week, we hope to reach our target audience on social media and make the most out of this platform. Message strategy. So for our objectives, we want to focus on behavior, perception, and persuasion. With behavior, we intend for the target audience to either want to get more information about, about our institution or hopefully have them enroll in the institution. For perception, we want them to see our TV advertisements and be like, wow, I want to be just like that student. She achieved so much in a short period of time and she's able to excel when she goes to college with the information that she learned from us. For persuasion, I, we want the target audience to trust us that we will help them gain all the skills that they need in mathematics and the sciences to ensure that they will be able to handle it when they go to college. The selling premise is that the target audience for this service are persons who want to achieve qualifications in a shorter period of time and persons who want to have a smooth transition from high school to university. The, tra the transition is needed because most students in high school are babied in a sense that they don't know how much the workload is when it goes to college. So it's harder to jump right into college from sixth form because they still baby them as if they're in fifth form or lower. So instead of going to sixth form, they can come to our institution, our pre-university institution where they can do their CAPE subjects and help and also do college level one courses and we will help them and guide them into a smoother transition and let them increase the workload and then help them with time management. Our big idea is save money, save time and still succeed. To learn, to grow, to get what you need. First prep is the place you need to be. Calling all C6 science and mathematics successors. First Prep Institute offers Cape Sciences and Mathematics at a low price. Higher learning for a lower cost. Enroll today at www.firstprep.edu.jm. To learn, to grow, to get what you need. First Prep is the place you need to be. Save money, save time, and still succeed. So this is one of our advertisements. We chose the color green to focus on because green represents growth and it's a more calming tone for our consumers. These are two of our social media ads. Okay, so for our advertisement or TV ad, we decided to have two main talents, so the students and the teacher. So. Initially, we'll start by following the student on campus and she'll be talking about how she got there, why she got there, and just explain what it's like being in class. And then we show her in class, interact with students and a pan view of the whole classroom. And then we switch perspective to the teacher, which she explains what it's like teaching there and how much she's focused on the math and sciences and how well the students excel. Then we switch back our perspective to the student where she shows leaving and just fast forward through the school. And at the end of it, we show her graduating and explaining what it's like to finally graduate and achieving so much within the two years. The campaign management aspect basically explains the purpose of the varying sections of our plan. So the keynote idea underpins the entire campaign and this is to save money, save time and still succeed. This basically explains the cost effective and time efficient nature of the programs offered at First Prep. 
and the access to state-of-the-art facilities at affordable rates. The purpose of the campaign is to increase the target audience's awareness of First Prep and to establish it as a prestigious yet accessible institution. It aims to present First Prep as the solution to or target audiences educational and occupational needs and it thus solidifies it as an institution that basically guarantees success and satisfaction. It basically separates the pre-university from our competitors. And the situational analysis, situation analysis is an assessment of where First Prep stands in the market in comparison to our competitors. It shows us what we're lacking, what we do have over our competitors and the needs that are within the market and that we can take advantage of. The key strate strategic campaign decision, uh, this section outlines the target audience so that messages can appeal to their needs and can be crafted in a way that can be effectively communicated to them. And it also breaks down major goals into small achievable objectives. It ensures that our aims are met and it shows what has been accomplished, what needs to be accomplished and what we need to adjust in order to successfully reach who we intend to reach. And also the methods and tools that will be used in this entire campaign are highlighted here. Lastly, the media strategy, it determines what messages will be disseminated to the target audience and how they will be disseminated and the intervals at which they will be disseminated. Again, someone mentioned ad fatigue. The, message, the media strategy is to mitigate such a situation from occurring. Now we move on to the budget. So for our advertising needs, we have decided to place three large billboards in Kingston, St. Andrew and St. Catherine because those are the localized areas in which our target audiences reside. And this will come at a cost of $354,000. Our TV advertisement for the entire running campaign period, six months, will come at $6,000,000. $190,000 and our Gleaner ad in the Sunday Gleaner, which will also be featured during the entire six month campaign period will be $2,760,000. Our radio advertisement will come at a cost of $3,300,000. And for PR, we have social media because we want to gain the attention of a large portion of our target audience so that will come at a cost of five hundred and eighty thousand dollars or pop-ups at various high schools to reach more people will cost three hundred and thirty thousand dollars roadside pop-ups are essential because in this way we can reach individuals who for some reason have not come into contact with our media messages so funding that will cost us $710,000. School tours, um, this is where we invite individuals within our premises to examine the facilities that we have and decide for themselves whether they want to be enrolled into first prep. That will cost $250,000. So from our $20 million budget, we will be spending $40,474,000 to achieve the objectives that we have set out for this campaign. Thank you.